Atlanta airport trying to get back to normal after 11-hour blackout caused chaos. Even though power has been restored to the world's busiest airport, the travel woes will linger for days. Thousands of people were stranded Monday morning at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, where more than 1,000 flights were grounded just days before the start of the Christmas travel rush. Passengers were being urged to check with airlines for flight information as operations resumed. A tweet early Monday from the airport said concessionaires and the security lines were Delta open. A sudden power outage caused by a fire in an underground electrical facility brought the airport to a standstill Sunday about 1 p.m. All outgoing flights and arriving planes were held on the ground at their point of departure. International flights were being diverted, officials said. The airport announced the restoration on Twitter minutes after midnight Monday, some 11 hours after the blackout began. Georgia Power had said in a statement that the fire in the underground facility caused extensive damage, impacting substations serving the airport. The cause of the fire wasn't immediately known. Mayor Kasim Reed tweeted Sunday night that all passengers had been safely deplaned. But one passenger described the situation in one terminal as big chaos. The city of Atlanta said on its Twitter page that it would provide shuttle service to the Georgia Convention Center for travelers in need of a place to stay and Chick-fil-A would be provided. A former U. S. Transportation Secretary was among the travelers stuck on a plane as a power outage paralyzed Atlanta's airport, the world's busiest. Anthony Fox, who served under former President Obama, tweeted Sunday that he was stuck on a plane for hours. Total and abject failure here at ATL Airport today, he tweeted, adding that there is no excuse for lack of workable redundant power source. None. Delta passenger Emilia Duca, 32, was on her way to Wisconsin from Bogota, Colombia, when she got stuck in Atlanta. She said police made passengers who were in the baggage claim area move to a higher floor. She said restaurants and shops were closed. Vending machines weren't working. A lot of people are arriving, and no one is going out. No one is saying anything official. We are stuck here, she said. It's a nightmare. Adding to the nightmare are what some passengers said was a lack of information from airport officials and help from first responders to get the disabled and the elderly through the airport without the use of escalators and elevators. They had these elderly people, handicapped people lined up in wheelchairs, said stranded passenger Rusha Curry. The people were helpless, they can't get down the stairs, it was just a nightmare. Passenger James Beatty said there was no real method for evacuation. I mean, there was 40 or 50 people per the terminal area that were confined to wheelchairs and some that couldn't get through the airport very well, some of them actually couldn't walk and there was no plan at all to get them out of here without any power. Beatty said passengers carried those who used wheelchairs downstairs. Delta, with its biggest hub operation in Atlanta, was hardest hit. By evening, Delta had already cancelled almost 900 Sunday flights and another 300 on Monday, nearly all of them in Atlanta, according to tracking service FlightAware.com. Delta was hoping to return to a normal schedule by Monday afternoon, reports CBS Atlanta affiliate WGCL-TV. In a tweet, the airline urged travelers to use its mobile app or website for booking assistance and updated flight status. Delta customers flying to or from Atlanta can make a one-time change to travel plans without incurring a $200 change fee. The airline also encouraged travelers not to pick up their bags Monday because of anticipated congestion at the airport.